Hello, and today we're here with how I grind money in GTA Online. As of the latest update, I have bought the Krotzka, which is 2.2 million. I've got no upgrades on it, and the only modification, the only thing that makes it mine is the little Union Jack. So, what I did is I scattered the entire round island. You can find many guides online for that, and this is the way I personally do it. So, obviously, the approach vehicle, I do the Krotzka, then the infiltration point, I do the drainage, drainage tunnel. The compound, note, of course, with the, it's going to be the drainage tunnel. Escape point. Now I go for the airstrip. This is the easiest way. I'm not planning on like going as quick as possible. I go for day because that way you can see things better. Day and night doesn't really change anything. And of course, I play it by myself, so I get all the money. Okay, so obviously, um, here you go. Here we're starting. The only issue I have with this is um, the mission to have it as the Krotzka to be the way that you um, you enter is a bit difficult. It's quite it's hard to go. The Krotzka mission is one of the harder missions in my opinion um, because you got like helicopters attacking you in the water. Yeah, so you just have to go straight ahead, um, you just go on, and you open the grate. Yeah, this is how I've been getting, like, one point, well, I've had, like, three million at one point. Yeah, I've just been spending lots of money because of this, it's so easy. It takes, like, an hour and you get, like, one point, at least one point okay, three million. Yeah, obviously you just do this. I've seen people do this in different ways, but I personally like doing it one at a time. Alright, there you go. Oh, which is glitched, so now it's, it's got the sound that it's on all the time. That's pleasant. Alright, thank god it stopped. Okay. You'd felt to peace, alright, yeah. Damn it. If you fuck it up, you yeah, just if you fuck it up, just kill yourself twice. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so after fucking it up that way, um, yeah, so you want to actually know how to aim, that would help. Yeah. Go here. Wait for this guy to get out of the camera. Right, there you go. I accidentally missed them, but I got away with it. Alright. Just then I got incredibly lucky because I shot, I think, like three times until um, he actually like died. But hopefully, if you don't have potato aim like I do, um, you should be alright. So, this whole time you have to be crouched. And now, what you have to do is you have to wait until the guard moves right here. So it's just a little bit of patience. Here he comes now. Okay, then you just put your aim up. And in the head. Okay, now get your shotgun out. This is, um, you know, just for insurance. Assurance, I mean. Okay, now in the head. He's dead. Okay, now you have to go up these stairs. This guy's going to start moving now. This whole time needs to be crouched, just to not alert him. Then wait here. There you go, he's dead now. Got um, gate keys, so I can actually escape. And first thing I do is I get the painting, because luckily for me I've got a painting here. Yeah, luckily I did get paintings, so I don't have to spend that much time at the airfield. airfield. Okay. And you still need to check. Oh, wait, there's another key here. Um, check the safe. Uh, there's like a decent amount of money in here, at least like 50k. You know, it's worth it. Worth it. There's no point because if you're doing it solo like me, you don't really need to get the um, keys. Alright, I was about to try and close it then, but I realised there's no point. 
Alright, now this, um, this isn't too hard, I'm just stupid. So hopefully if you have the mental capacity which is higher than mine, which you probably do, uh, you should be able to do this. Okay, I'm surprised how quickly I was able to do that. Okay, then you just sneak in here. Of course, if this is your first time doing it, you'll have to, like, you get a text message with the code, and then you just do the code, but of course, this isn't my first time doing it, so you don't get the code. Yeah. Of course, you can get bombs as well, but you need a code for that, and you just have to, like, for me, I just remember it, but sometimes you might have to write it down on your phone or something. Yeah, so you just, you know, do this, make sure it doesn't overheat, otherwise it will, like, break, I'm pretty sure. There we go. It's gone. Okay. Okay, now you just come back up. Alright. This, this is incredibly easy, so you just have to stay crouched and go down. Okay, if they're still the drainage pipe, really, wouldn't you think that they would know that something's up? Extra guards just arrived. Be careful. Okay, now open the gate key. This is why you have to like like kill those people. All right, so and okay, make sure that they can't Trust see me, each other. So I'll just kill this guy. There's a uh, English Dave. All right. Then um, some people run here and they get like heard by that guard right there. Um, so you don't have to, you know, don't have to do that. I recommend you just keep crouching just in case, you know. Then this cutscene happens. Even though I've been here like eight times at least, he still pushes the door. Doesn't realise there's a massive button there. And, um, you know, it's just a bit of a dumb shit. Okay. Okay, now we're on the second phase of the heist. This is where most people get caught, and, like, this is where, like, a lot of shit happens. Now, if you are doing it this way, you should be fine. Okay, first, then you aim for this guy. Got it. Yeah. So, the way this is doing, um, this should be incredibly easy. Right, so then you kill this guy, sneakily, and snipe, there you go, then you get your shotgun out, alright, now this is why I love the shotgun for this, because you can, you can get this, this guy, and then quickly get this guy, and nobody is just, nobody's alerted, alright, okay now we'll get on the motorbike that just should, should be spawned here, now, let me go this way because there's a lot less guards this way. At least from my experience. Alright, let's keep going there. Uh -oh. By the sounds of it, Mr. Rubio is getting back in his helicopter. Watch out! You never have to, don't worry about him as long as you do it the way that um, I'll show you. Show you, you should be perfectly fine. Yeah, the guards won't even be alerted. Of course, you could just um, do that as well if you want to, but that's just me being an idiot. You just quickly get the motorbike back and you should be alright. Yeah, note to self, be more careful on the motorbike. Alright, so you have to kill a guard here. He should come in on your minimap in a moment. Yeah, just get the machine pistol out. As long as you've got the suppressors on it, it won't be heard. Snipe, there you go. He's dead. Just keep going this way. Yep, 
Yeah, sorry for that small cut just then. That was me um, just checking out is actually recording because I've done this entire thing without recording before. Okay, now some people go through the um, guard thing and that is not a good idea because there, there's like 20,000 guards there. Not really, there's like five. But I just go around it, you know, because you're on an off-road motorcycle, so you should be fine. You might border the, the cones of vision, but you should be okay. Okay, now what you want to do is you have to make sure you're really careful here and don't fall off it, because I've admittedly, once before, I've hit so many things that I've actually died from the damage it causes. Now, by now, you might have noticed that the helicopter if you're paranoid it's starting to come towards you. Um, this is you have to pay a bit more of a waiting game. Yeah, just ignore him, he's not the thing that I to say right now. Alright, so Okay, right now he's out of vision but you still want to be careful. Alright. So there's a bit more killing here, you have to be a bit stealthy here as well. Just park it here, somewhere you can see it. Okay, now be really stinky, stinky, sneaky. Here. And you have to do what you did earlier. And, okay, now kill him as well. Helicopter should be here shortly. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we've got plenty of time. Of course, you might want to wait you back a little bit if you don't want to risk this, but, you know, I don't blame you. Alright, just kill this guy. Alright. Okay, now you want to sneak away into here. You can't be seen in here, um, so you're perfectly fine. Don't worry about the helicopter. You should have the thing where it burns lock. Um, you don't need the explosives. The other three equipment things you should you do need though. Yeah, then you start losing this. Yeah. Of course this is where you pick up the rest of the loot in case if like me you only get one painting or no paintings at all. You can just pick this up as well. Alright, yeah, just salute this. There you go. Yes. Alright, there you go. Alright. Okay, we're almost finished. Um, you just want to make sure that there's no hassle once we get out. Alright, so we're going to have to kill this guy. You have to look for him. Alright, where is he? Is he there? No. Where the hell is he? There he is, and snipe, there you go. Now get your shotgun out again. Okay, keep sneaking. You don't want to be um, caught, of course. Okay, so now what you want to do, just in case, yeah, because these guys can hear you, you want to kill this guy. Alright. Now you should be able to run about with these. Get this out of the back. And then you come over this way. Alright, there's one more person here. You want to make sure you don't kill him on the camera, because if you're killing him on the camera, um, shit happens, you know what I mean? You get caught. <laughs> so you want to make sure. Yeah, and as he's now saying, the control tower is ahead. Alright, so you want to. Either wait for him to move or you can snipe the thing. Oh, there you go. Then kill him. Alright, now you should be perfectly fine to so just go on ahead and up this way. If it lets me, there you go, burn the lock. Okay, so we're pretty much done now. Um, you just have to get into here. Hack the control tower. I'll just do this mini game, I'll just fast forward this.
Okay, I just did that first try. And just if you fess it up, just keep doing it over and over again. Took me a while to figure it out myself. Okay. So you should just grab this motorbike that's over here. Alright, just get on this motorbike. Very easy. This is not the quickest way to do it. It's just, the, in my opinion, the easiest way to do it. It's the way I do it personally. Okay. And then you just get in here. No hassles. You've not even alerted the guards. The helicopter is on the way here, so you might want to, like, you know, hurry up a bit. But other than that, you've got nothing. You've got a full bag. Yeah, you'd, all you have to do, you don't, you don't have to worry about the air defences. Because, I mean, you're just going to head out of here. If you don't do this as quickly as I did, and the helicopter comes back, um, what you want to do is you just need to either get inside of the... Um, the place um, or just get on your motorbike and just go out of the range that should be fine all right so from now on you don't have to worry you just need to fly out you don't really have to worry about the attack boats you know if there are a few just fly around them it's not that difficult yeah so that's it that was my conclusive guide on the easiest way uh, my personal way on how I do the, the new heist the way I make money either way I hope you enjoyed and I'll let you watch this cutscene, I guess. Alright. I like how the cutscene is adapted to like the snow, th the snow theme, I guess. There you go, 1.5 mil just then. Easy, no issues, except for the fact that I can't aim, so I had to deal with that to be fair. And there it is, my conclusive guide on how I make money in GTA. Um, it takes about an hour um, altogether. Of course, it can take longer depending on how good you are at the um, the missions um, to do it, and of course, it takes practice. Of course, I'm still not the best at it. So yeah, that is my, how I personally, um, you know, do this. It's quite fun. It's an easy way to make money, and if you want to, you can just search up other ways to do it online if that doesn't work out for you. Either way, uh, like I said earlier, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to, you can like, subscribe if you found it helpful, or if you just enjoyed it, or if you just feel like being a nice nice guy. Not that like you won't be a nice guy if you don't. Um, either way, I'll see you later. And, uh, shit. Yeah, bye.